If you want to add Google Analytics to your website, you're going to want to start by setting up a Google Analytics account. It's Stacey Myers here from StaceyMyers.com where I support entrepreneurs and small business owners with connecting the dots for online business success. So here we're going to go to Google Analytics. All you need to have is a Gmail account. So you can see I've already have an account. If you're not logged in, you can just log into your account. This is my Google Analytics for my Stacey Myers website and I'm going to set up Google Analytics for another website now. So I'm going to click on Admin and this drop down menu here if you don't already have an account set up it will just be creating a new account I want to track the website and I'm going to use the Universal Analytics which is in beta at the moment and then you scroll down and then you just set up the name and then the website name and the website address. Just choose an industry that it's related to. Whichever one you think it's going to be closest to. Then you can put in your time zone. I'm in the United Kingdom, so I'm going to do that. And then here it says it's you choose where you want to share your data. So with other Google products, anonymously with Google and others and account specialists. And then this is where you're going to get your tracking ID. There's a terms of agreement that you need to and then you can just click I accept. And what this is going to generate for you are two things. There's your unique, unique tracking ID and then there's also this tracking code to put in your website. Now if you know where in your website to put this tracking code, you can do that. If you're not sure where to do it, then you just want to take note of this and I'm going to show you how to use a plugin to add Google Analytics to your website. So next we want to go to the website that we want to add this to. Go to your dashboard and into plugins here. We're going to add a new plugin. I'm going to search for Google Analytics here. Then I've got these options Google Analytics, Google Analyticator. And then there's one from Yoast that I've been using. It's this Google Analytics for WordPress. So I'm going to install that. Activate the plugin. Okay, so then it says the Google Analytics isn't active yet. We must select which analytics profile to track. And we're going to authenticate our account with Google here. Whichever one that you signed in with. Then we've got some options here to choose from. And it's the one for one. You can just go back and check. It's one for one. So this has pulled that. So this means that we don't need to manually add that code into our website. So then you update your Google Analytics settings. So now this is set up and tracking on your website. The other plugin that I think is very good.
is the Google Analytics dashboard. So we can add a new one here. And this is it at the top here. So there are two different ones. To choose from. Activate the plugin. So we've got the Google Analytics dashboard and Google Analytics here in the settings option. So if we go to Google Analytics dashboard, so we want to authorize the application. get our access code. Here's our access code here. So we're going to come back and pop it in here. And that's done then. If we go to the dashboard Here's our Google Analytics here. You can drag this because this is, we've just put this in. We don't have it yet. You can actually drag these around. So I could drag this and put it up the top here. Get rid of that. And so you can have any of the ones that you want. And if you just make them sh small, then it looks a bit neater on here and then you can have every any time you want to have a look you can see your analytics here if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and of course don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can be notified when i add any additional videos it's stacy here from stacymyers.com